Hey everybody, so today we are talking about condos and the condo crisis. And I know that's a strong word to use, but I really believe in Florida we're having a condo crisis. Between the new rules for condos to make sure that they have the reserves and they make sure that they have the engineer's report, and, you know, if the building's more than three stories high, the insurance costs, everything it's it's just unbelievable i never seen this happening to condo condo complexes you know multi-story buildings i did a inspection on a condo building and it, it has like maybe probably 100 units in a huge place down in clearwater beach but literally i would say 20 percent of them are for sale because i went on the zillow and take a look at them and what you do is you you see this building one after another after another price cut price cut price cut so it's like a race to the bottom everybody's trying to get out before it's too late and it may be a very long time before this condo crisis goes away so that's what we're talking about today the name of the article is the poison pill facing florida condo owners and I agree, it is a poison pill. In the meantime, do me a favor, if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing, it really helps out the channel and it's much, much greatly appreciated. So let me read a little bit of it and let's talk about it. Imagine being a property owner in a condominium who's humming along, paying the mortgage, and then getting a letter from your association, HOA, informing you of a six-figure assessment. And it's happening. I just saw in the news, one association did an assessment of $60,000, something like that, all up front, not even spread out, just $60,000. It continues. Now imagine that you don't have the money, but under the HOA rules, failing to pay for the assessment means losing your unit via foreclosure. HOAs have a lot of power, so you don't pay your mortgage, they could, they could foreclose on you easily. However, selling the unit would be nearly impossible once you disclose the assessment to potential buyers. What do you do? So think about it. You pay your mortgage, you're there for years, you get this special assessment, who knows what it could be. You know, if they vote on it, it could be 10,000, 30,000, 60,000, whatever it could be. You know, it could be monthly, it could be spread out. But say you don't have the money. So you're like, oh my God, I just don't have the money. And they don't care that you don't have the money. What are they gonna, they want the money. You know, they have to do it. They have to meet the new rules. So then you go sell it. And of course you have to disclose to the potential buyers. Yeah, you know what? There's a potential assessment or there is an assessment. Here's the letter. And you know, if you don't have the equity, I guess you could sell the condo and then take the assessment money out of the proceeds and pay for the assessment for the new buyers. But what if you don't have a lot of equity in there and you can't do that? or do you really want to do that? You know, you're being forced out, but then where do you go? If you're used to living in a condo, you're gonna go find another condo, you might run into the same, same situation. T tell me what you guys think. This is the poison pill facing an increased number of Florida condominium owners. The insurance crisis has gotten most of the attention as the ravages of extreme weather make it their pr presence felt in the Sunshine State. Yeah, insurance is, is stupid. And we're gonna do another video on insurance, you know, because a lot of it has to do with like lawsuits, fraud, and just, you know, hurricanes, storms. It's, it's, it's like the perfect storm of everything, you know? Insurance companies are trying to make money, but at the same time, they're getting hit with lawsuit after lawsuit. They're getting hit for storm after storm. They're getting hit for inflation. You know, if something breaks, it costs a lot more money to replace it. It's, it's becoming really, really stupid, you know? So felt in the sunshine state with increased power and frequency. However, one particular thorn offshoot of the insurance crisis leaves many Florida condo owners with an impossible choice. It is. You have to have insurance, okay? And a lot of condo associations are gonna require that you have insurance from, they'll have a master policy, but some kind of associations require you to have insurance from the drywall in for your stuff. And that can become, you know, potentially expensive. I was talking to one condo owner, I think I was on the ninth floor, 
and I was doing an inspection next door and the person that was living there says, yeah, I'm probably gonna be selling too. I was like, why are you selling? He goes, insurance. I said, okay, that's interesting. Um, how bad is it? He goes, it's not that. I'm nine stories up. They want me to buy flood insurance and the flood insurance is like $3,200. I'm like, why do you need flood insurance? You're on the ninth floor. And they're like, it's required, you know? So what they're trying to do basically, the insurance companies is, even, you have to pay for people that are in a flood zone, that are at sea level and get flooded often, even though there's no chance of you getting flooded, especially nine stories up. So now they're gonna say, hey, you know what? You, you gotta help pay for all these insurance policies, so we're gonna spread it out. Not, not a good situation. Increased insurance premiums are, have already left many Florida condo owners facing increased HOA fees. It's true. I know, I don't think any HOA fee ever goes down. It always goes up. And everybody I speak to, they're like saying, hey, the HOA is a little, little ridiculous. There was one I just, the one I was telling you guys about that I just inspected, I think their HOA fee was, was $1,100 a month. Who could afford $1,100 a month? That's coming at a time when insurance and the owners carrying on their units is becoming progressively more expensive. 79-year-old Howard Contes is a condominium owner in, Av in Aventura, Florida, living out his nightmare. In a recent interview with Jeffrey, I won't, even, I won't butcher your last name, an investigation reporter for Local 10 News said his condo fees have jumped from $1,500 to $3,000. Imagine your condo fees doubling pretty much overnight. It's a crazy, crazy scenario and it's happening more. And I don't think that this is going to get better anytime soon. Then he hits with an assessment of, check this out, an assessment of 224,000. Condominium owners share ownership of common areas in the communities and therefore subject to assessments which their share of common area to repair costs. Floor condo owners are being hit with these high assessments for several reasons. Many insurers are demanding that extensive repairs or upgrades common areas are conditional of renewing the community HOA policy. So, but say the condominium association has multi floor garage for the vehicles and you have a pool and you have stuff. Say you don't have a car, okay? You still have to pay your share of the cost to maintain these things. That's what one of the problems is. Another cause for high assessment traces back to the tragic collapse of Champlain Towers and Surfside. Horrible, horrible situation. Just imagine what those people went through. Just there once, one second and gone the other. One of the main causes of the collapse was important maintenance that went years without being done because the successive HOA boards couldn't reach consensus on the cost of, of the timing. So basically, they knew that there was problems, it sounds like, but they couldn't figure, come together and say, hey, you know what, this is going to cost this much money to fix it, and they kept passing the buck down the road. And eventually, you, saw, you know what happened? After several decades of issues become so pronounced that they caused the building to collapse. So they couldn't agree on how to repair it or how to pay for it. And they didn't want to do special assessments. So yes, it's easier to just say, hey, you know what, we'll put it off to next year. We'll put it off to next year. We'll put it off to next year. It's like your health. You have a problem, you put it off, you put it off, you put it off. And then eventually you have to face reality. And then if there's a problem, you're, you know, you might be too late, just like it happened in the tower. As a result, Florida legislation passed the law in 2021 requiring HOAs to increase their reserve funds and institute a more frequent inspection regimen for all Florida condominiums. Those inspections by municipal authorities and insurance company representatives have led to a laundry list of items that need to be corrected especially in Florida, on older condominium communities. That's what I'm saying. If it's a brand new building, okay, I think you're okay, even if it's multi-story, it's brand new, they met the, all the current guidelines, you know, the building code and all that, which is perfect. But there's a lot of older buildings, 
There's buildings from the 60s and 70s and early 80s that are all over the place. Because that was the thing. Move down to Florida, buy a condo, live on the beach. So they were, they were in a building, building after building after building. And don't forget, back then, Clearwater Beach, not even like 15, 16 years ago, you know, when I was down here, I was going to buy, I went under the contract for a condo. And the condo was, you know, the condo was like eighty, ninety thousand dollars, you know, and the condo's still there. That's what's really funny. But now the the fees for the condo are like, the, the fees for the condo are like twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars a month. So I'm glad I didn't do that. But I would be able to sell it if I still owned it. Unfortunately, many condominium kind of owners in older communities aren't in the financial position to afford the resulting assessments. That's because many of them are older and on fixed incomes. It's true, like we were just talking about. A lot of um, owners are, you know, they're retiring. They don't want to buy a house that they have to take care of, the lawn, the grass, the pool, and everything. They're buying condos. And before, you know, this this whole thing came up, they were affordable, they were cheap. The maintenance was like, what, two, three hundred dollars? And now it's becoming more and more expensive. Many of the younger owners chose to buy older condo, condo communities specifically because they were the older were less expensive than the newer ones. Yeah, just four or five years ago, you could buy an older building. I would say it was 25 to 40 percent cheaper than the newer ones, and now it's a lot more expensive. Let's continue what this says. It is also important to note that assessments can vary by unit. Larger units may have extra parking storage or greater percentage of ownership in condominium common areas. That means they are subject to even larger assessments. Local 10 News reports that some of the owners in the Mediterranean Villages community have been hit with assessments as high as 400,000. Think about it, an assessment of $400,000. Yeah, they might be million dollar condos, but who has that kind of money? That's why I think that condos are going to be in trouble for many, many years to come. The plans for the Mediterranean Village include elevator repair, concrete, concrete restoration, improvements to the roof, and even a $700,000 for landscaping. And his fellow owners are preventing from passing the cost to potential buyers, even if they could. No sensible buyer would pay top dollar for a unit with a six-figure assessment due. At minimum, they will want an equivalent discount on the purchase price that could leave many sellers upside down. That's what I was just telling you before. Yes, you could sell your condo, and then what will happen? You know, you say, okay, I'll pay for it out of the proceeds, but what if you don't have the equity in the condo? You're, you're in trouble. As listed, this condominium, which still sits on the market after several price drops, has increased the number of for sale listings on the condo, shows six figure assessments due. Buyers are staying away. Meanwhile, he is unsure of what the future holds. When local news 10, Jeffrey, Jeffrey asked him what he's planned to do, one of us replied, Pray. It's true. If you get a special assessment and they say, Hey, you know what? You have to, you have to pay for this and you have until then, the HOA doesn't care. If you don't have the money, you gotta come up with it because after a while, they could foreclose on your unit. They have a lot of power. They could foreclose on your unit, you know? So you have to work with a realtor, with somebody that you guys can, can figure out what to do. It's so, so important. And when you're buying a condo, you have to ask these questions. Is there any special assessment? How old the building is? What's going on? Hang out there for a day or two and, and talk to the people that are living there. Hang out by the pool if, you're, if possible. And say, hey, tell me what's your experience on this. And trust me, a lot of people want to talk because you'll, you'll find people that complain and then some people will say, hey, it's great, you know, whatever. But before you purchase a condo, especially in Florida, you need to find out the whole scoop on it. It's a really, really serious issue, and it's not a joke. In this article, I, I agree with it. If you buy the wrong condo, it will be a poison pill in your finances, especially if you're on a fixed income. 
the people on the fixed income that sold their homes from the Northeast or wherever they came from and bought a condo because they, they want to reduce their cost and their maintenance and everything are getting screwed on this. And I understand why the state is doing it. And I understand that, you know, people need to be safe. And the collapse was a big, big deal. But man, I don't know. It, it may be years before this straightens out. Who knows? That's today's video. Do me a favor, consider subscribing. It's really important and I greatly appreciate you guys watching this and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.